Let's stay with the Reading FC theme and talk ladies football. Big game tomorrow for the Reading FC ladies. They're in action 6.30 tomorrow evening at the Keep Moat Stadium. Doncaster, they're top of the table. The Reading FC ladies, they're in second spot. Just three points, I believe, the difference. Let's have a chat with the Reading FC ladies at midfielder Lois Roach. Lois, good evening. Hi, AD, you all right? Yeah, very well indeed. I'm at the Madstag, going to watch a game of football. We love a game of football on a Friday night, but you've got a yeah, big one do, tomorrow, yeah. Lois. You know, first against second. Yeah, massive game. Uh, yeah, just come off the back of a, a great win against Everton last, last week. Uh, yeah, we're flying at the minute and we can't wait to get going tomorrow. Yeah, second in the table. I mean, we'll talk exactly. about tomorrow's game against Doncaster Bells. I mean, they've been there or thereabouts, you know, some of the best football played by Doncaster and Arsenal over the years. But go back to last week, Everton, you know, like you say, back to winning ways. Huge result for you at Farnborough. Oh, yeah, a massive result. You know, it was a, for us, I thought it was a must-win game, really, coming, on the, coming off the back of two, two disappointing games for us. But, uh, yeah, we're back in great team spirit. You know, we, we perform well, we're putting a great performance and, uh, thankfully, the result took care of itself and we're back to winning ways and hopefully looking to carry that on this week. Yeah, a lot of talk about Fran Kirby. Brilliant news oh, yeah. coming out in the week. She's obviously in the England squad for the World Cups out in Canada. That gets underway at the beginning of June. Brilliant, brilliant season, as all the Reading FC girls had. But I think Fran scored 11 goals already this season. Yeah. Uh, what can I say? Um, I'm absolutely chuffed for her. You know, everyone at the club is, is actually made up for her. I don't think we was ever in any doubt, to be honest. You know, since I've come to the club maybe three, four seasons ago, she's always been performing consistently. And I'm just made up for her that she's been recognised and uh, I can't wait to watch her and cheer her on and do the business in Canada and hopefully bring back a medal. Yeah, yeah, fingers crossed, absolutely. So. Yeah, she's the only second-tier player in the squad. It just shows how well she's been playing this season, as have all the girls. Lois, yeah. yourself, you've been in good form. Like you say, you're a former Arsenal Academy player, so I imagine you play with some of the very best as well. Yeah, no, I, and you know what, that is a credit to Fran, you know. To stick in and playing with Reading, and it's a credit to Reading as well. The way we play and the way we allow friends to play, you know, and score goals, we create a lot, lot of opportunities, and yeah, friend takes them. Tell me about t uh, tomorrow's opponents, Doncaster. Like I say, I think I'm right in saying the likes of Millwall, Arsenal, and Doncaster. They've been at the top of their game for a while. It's going to be a tough one at the Keepmo. Nice stadium. I played there a couple of times. Yeah, it is a lovely stadium. There'll be no excuses with the surface. But uh, last season it was a tough, it was a tough away fixture. We went there and. Unfortunately, can't short. We lost 5-2. I think it was our heaviest defeat last season. So, um, yeah, we're looking to av avenge that defeat and hopefully come back with three points. But, yeah, like you said, it'll be a tough game and we need to put pressure on, obviously, Lois, on them. L last one, Lois. Realistically, OK, realistically, what is the target for the Reading FC ladies this season? Oh, there's only one target. Uh, champions promotion. Uh, we we fully believe that we can, we can win the league. We know we're good enough and, uh, yeah, we... Uh, we're going to show that tomorrow. Yeah, I was going to say, you've started the season in good form. Is tomorrow going to be a leveller, you know, a mark how far Reading FC ladies have come in the last two or three seasons? Exactly, yeah. So it's a must-win game for us if we want to be, if we want to end the season champions, you know, and we're all, we're all fully confident that we can do it. If we just compete and put in a performance that we know we can, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll bring back the three points. Lois, what do you do on a Friday evening before a big game? What, what do I do? Yeah. Do you travel up tonight to Doncaster? Oh, I thought you meant personally. What do I do? I was, uh, yeah, we travel. No, we travel up. We're traveling up tomorrow at 11 o'clock, and we're going to stop for a pre-match meal, and then yeah, we'll arrive at the stadium an hour and a half before, and yeah, just get in the zone. Okay. Personally, what do you do on a Friday evening? Oh no. <laughs> uh, um, I'm actually going out with a meal for my family. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Chilled. No alcohol. Normally you might catch me on a dance floor, maybe on a Friday evening. You never know. Really? Before a game? Oh, no, not before a game. No, 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 no. The gas is listening to this as well. <laughs> she killed me. Yeah, she will, Kelly Chambers. Lois, listen, good luck tomorrow and appreciate your time and enjoy Thank your meal you. this evening. Thank you. Pleasure. Take care. See you later. And you, Lois Roach, Reading FC ladies at midfielder. Like I say, the big game tomorrow in the WSL Division 2 at the Keep Moat Stadium. It's Doncaster against Reading. That gets underway at 6.30. Let me